like I don't want to just skip seeing he's so funny. <laughs> Hey geeks, welcome to my channel. I'm Trey Guillotine and you're watching Daily Marvels where I've taken some of the Marvel news from the past week and put it in one place just for you. And we're about to break down the first story trailer for Deadpool 2. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it around so others can join in the conversation. The opening of the trailer is an opening that I think only a Deadpool movie could pull off. It's Dopinder sitting in his cab and he's listening to this 80s rock ballad. And then we see Deadpool running down an alley and is like, he's, you know, he's a little ways away. So we only hear like the muffled things that he's yelling. He's like, start the car, start the car. And he crashes through the window. They drive off. They talk about crapping their pants. Already th this one just beginning of the trail has already set the tone of that kind of like big action with just lewd with just lewd comedy and already it's funny where we're coming into Deadpool 2 it looks like Deadpool is doing pretty good he's got his friends he's got his girlfriend he's doing whatever it is that Deadpool do which apparently involves a lot of action and killing people which Already, the action scenes that we see in the trailer look top-notch. These look like super high-quality action scenes, and I'm so excited just for this. If they, like, if it's just a, if I could just get a, a montage of the action sequences of Deadpool, of Deadpool 2, they look so good. They look even better than the ones in Deadpool 1. So already, super excited for this movie. Love action, love Deadpool, love comedy. I'm already hyped for this movie. But then Cable comes in. And he comes through the future where he's basically been born into this war of, I'm guessing, like this mutant war, which makes me wonder if it's the same war that we saw in Days of Future Past, as these movies are more or less connected to the X-Men cinematic universe. What exactly is going on with that? And he comes into the and he comes into the past to kill this kid, which I'm guessing is like the cause or the ripple effect that will start the whole war that Cable's been living with. And he's here to stop that war. He's here to save the world by killing this kid. And Deadpool is actually convinced that he needs to protect it. And then we see just a random shot of Deadpool dressed as Professor X rolling around the X-Mansion in Professor X's wheelchair, which again, just looks so dumb and so funny but he's going to be gathering a he's going to be making his own super team of super mutants which so far the roster of this the the known roster of this team is negasonic teenage warhead from deadpool 1 and then domino who we're going to be meeting in deadpool 2 and then some other mutants that i don't know the names of and terry cruz did anyone else know that Terry Crews was in this movie? I had no idea, and I'm so hyped for it. Terry Crews is such a surprisingly funny actor. Like, he's got the action, badass roles down pat, but whenever he comes and he does comedy, he is just so damn funny. Like, it's, it's, it's surprising, because he's this huge, big, intimidating dude, but, and like, he pulls that role off well. He pulls off the intimidating role well. But when he like makes a joke and he like, he's also just, he seems like the nicest guy in that, in that intimidating persona is really like just, you know, just a persona for him. It's just a role for him. But he's just, he seems like the nicest guy. And he's just so funny. Like I've seen him do, he did like a, a console versus PC debate with BuzzFeed where again, it, like I don't want to just keep seeing he's so funny without really saying what he's funny in just like like uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine he's hysterical as that as like like one of the best thing is like he's like he gets to play Scary Terry and the police line up he's like yeah I like playing Scary Terry he says all the things regular Terry wants to say and he's like this is taking too long I'm gonna be late for the farmers market like just the dude is so funny. He is so damn funny, and I'm so excited for him to be in this movie. I, in this movie, I'm guessing doing the roles that he's good at, that badass intimidating role, and also just being funny, because I don't think a character can be in this movie without making you laugh at some point. 
So what role he's playing, what mutant he is, I have not looked up. I'm not going to look it up because I kind of want to be surprised for the Deadpool 2 movie, but I am super excited that he is in this. And then just after the like introduction of them making a team is just another out of context jokes and images that are just very funny. And the, again, the action sequences just look so high quality that already I'm very excited for the upcoming Avengers Infinity War, but I'm actually even more excited now for Deadpool 2. I'm, it, and it's also making me wonder What's going to happen after Deadpool 2? Since Deadpool, since this may be, this could be the last Deadpool movie we see under Fox, unless they're going to try to spit out a Deadpool 3 before before the stipulations for the Disney Fox deal go into play. Uh, I don't know if Disney has if Disney has any plans to either continue the Deadpool franchise as it is with Ryan Reynolds and with ryan reynolds or if they're going to make their own new deadpool hopefully with ryan reynolds and do like a, a reboot of it whatever they're going to be doing i don't know they actually talk about that in the trailer that you know we're not even gonna make a third one you know because we can't do a third one better than this uh i just I'm, I'm very excited for this movie this movie deadpool was just such a funny movie so thank you ryan reynolds for deadpool and also thank you deadpool for reinvigorating ryan reynolds career what do you think of the Deadpool 2 trailer? Let me know in the comments and follow me on all the internets. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it around so others can join the conversation. If you want to check out my written reviews of Marvel TV shows and movies, go to www.treyguillotine.com. And if you want to be featured in any of my What You Gaming On videos, make sure to email me what game you're playing and what you like about it to whatyougamingon at gmail.com. And subscribe to my channel to geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun.